Well, hey everybody, welcome back. Um, just working some more on the brewery here, and I've come up with how I want to do the loading dock. Um, so what I ended up doing, those two lighter colored pieces are intended to be, I guess, truck docks uh, that would be on the sides of the building. But since the building is going to be eventually sort of wedged over here against that one, and kind of dead space over there on the right-hand side um, between the edge of the building and the, and the backdrop, um, I went ahead and, and just used them to extend the platform that's on the front of the building. So it's going to look like that. And then on, on both sides, I went ahead and carved in, I don't know if you can see that there and there, I carved in the uh, those same um, expansion joints that I had on the rest of the loading dock. Then what we'll do uh, is pop the steps over here on the left-hand side. And um, I had to add a step basically you see that white at the bottom that's just uh, a piece of thick styrene uh, I'll clean all that up um, and get it bonded in there nicely uh, and all finished uh, that same concrete color all right uh, got a couple updates here um, first one I wanted to show is I got the loading dock kind of worked out with the two um, two side pieces added on to uh, add to the length of it and I uh, got the steps all cleaned up and painted up and uh, and they kind of match. And from the top, you can kind of see the expansion joints and everything kind of fits together. Um, but from this view, if I zoom in a little bit, um, the dock is taller than the building. Uh, you can see it in the door frame too. There's a little drop there. The reason for that is I wasn't intending on using uh, the base to the kit. So I think if I use the base, that will raise the whole structure up, you know, whatever that is, a, a millimeter or two, uh, so that the loading dock is flush with the uh, threshold of those doors. So here's the base, uh, and that of course meant more masking um, because I wanted to only paint the outside edge of the base, but not where glue is gonna go. So. There's like a, a top, there's a, a surface there um, along the, this is the front over here, that I did not want to get paint on uh, so that the walls can glue onto that and bond real nice. But I wanted this front surface over here to have paint on it. So I masked the top of it and painted the side of it. Then over here on the end, um, it gets a little bit complicated where this piece goes. So what I did, if I can get this in here with one hand, um, I masked off where those, there's little small windows that go down sort of in the basement area, I guess. And there is, um, there's little spots where the spaces between those windows uh, attach to the base. So I put masking tape in there, masked it off, but the, the these little notches sticking up actually serve as the window sills. So to make that match all the other window sills on the structure, I went ahead and left that part unmasked. So these little knobs sticking up are painted, the spaces between them are not. And that's how I did uh, uh, the base here. Um, once I get these pieces lined up correctly, I'll end up cutting off the back of the base and won't use it. Um, but I will use the front, it'll add a little structural strength and, uh, and and get the whole structure at the right level so the loading dock and everything matches up real nice. Also started um, looking through the instructions, figuring out which windows I needed and giving them a, po a coat of paint as well as the um, railing for the steps that go next to the loading dock. And for the windows, I'm just reaching here with my other hand, I used Vallejo Hobby Paint, um, Pens are gray, just a nice dull gray color. Um, all the windows, these are the freight doors. I'm gonna have at least one, maybe both of them open, but since they were on the same sprue as the windows I needed anyway, I went ahead and painted the front of those and then uh, one pedestrian door, uh, which I will have closed. I usually make my own roofs, but since this structure has the water tower and sort of has this like irregular shape to it there and has the water tower with some pipes that go down into the roof. These little molded on bits here are, are what those pieces uh, glue to and the, the water tower kind of sits up 
up here. Um, also on the other end, um, head house or top of the elevator or whatever it is, um, has some, some places to glue in as well. So, and again, with the little notching there, this just seemed like uh, more work than it was worth doing. Uh, so I'm gonna go ahead and use use the roof that came with the kit. And just like the base, somewhere around in here, I'll have to cut, because I'm only using this half of the building. So no big deal there. But man, there was a giant, you know, bit of flash and, and a hole here uh, from the molding process that I've got a, a couple of coats of the acrylic um, paste in there and I've, I've sanded it down with very fine grit sandpaper. I think when I paint over that, it won't be noticeable and I'll probably paint that at least as a base color, sort of this same gray that I used here. And then uh, I'll probably do something else uh, to the roof, either with ballast or sandpaper or something, but just to get a base coat on there, I'll probably just spray that, that same spray on it. But I just wanted to show what a mess if I flip this over. You can see there was some kind of an injection point here and the roof had a big circle and then a hole in the middle of it. Just, just a mess. So I, I filled all that in um, and, and, and filed it down so that it's uh, hopefully not noticeable once it gets a coat of paint. All right, so I went ahead and painted the, the roof and it's not perfect. You can still kind of see a blemish there from uh, that molding process, but given that I'll probably be putting ballast or some sort of gravel on the roof uh, or something that's li likely to be covered up, I think that's probably good enough. And last but not least with, uh, with the updates, uh, at least for, for today's part of the segment here, um, all the injection holes around here were filled in and, and filed and uh, you'd, you'd never know they were there now. So that's the look I was going for. I've, it's kind of going to be up underneath the water tower, but this actually is going to be sort of facing where you're standing on the layout. It's going to be kind of like that. So if you're over here shipping the brewery, you, you might have had a shot, especially at to the this um, this back corner here. You might have been able to see the little circle there. And eh, that's just while I'm in here, I might as well get it right. So just one other quick note here. Um, as I sprayed all the windows, um, I got paint on the outside piece here. And this surface here is what actually bonds to the wall section, uh, this surface. So what I've done is using a the coarser of my sanding sticks, that one, uh, just kind of gone around the edge of each window. You can see where that lighter color is. That's the plastic color, just to expose the plastic. So I've done those already. Uh, need to do this one yet. And then I used the uh, Micromark sanding stick, which has this nice little point I can get down in there very easily uh, around each of the edges on the wall section. Uh, Cause what you want to do uh, for plastic cement to mate correctly is have it be plastic on plastic. If you get plastic on paint or paint on paint, they tend to pop off and it doesn't bond correctly. So just a quick note. All right, working through the, uh, the windows here. Um, <clears throat> some might call me a little bit of a perfectionist for trimming these down to fit. Um, that's basically just one of those cut with the final section and put in there and then sand it down to match. <clears throat> You're never gonna see that. That's gonna be either behind a building or over in a corner against the backdrop. You'd never see it, but here I am uh, making it look right, even though it's a building literally sliced. So there's that. <clears throat> and then down at the bottom, there's these little windows here, uh, get them in the frame, that um, go in those spots there at the bottom. And as I was getting ready to put them in this other piece, this is the other side of the building, I noticed, I don't even know if the camera's gonna pick it up, there's some flashing in there. So I've gone in on this one and cleaned that up with the X-Acto blade and um, need to finish cleaning it up and then mask the bottom of this thing off and, uh, and repaint it. I don't know, maybe I'm going overboard here, but, uh, that's where I'm at. Lots of windows. All those parts moving along. Okay, well, I've got the basic structure built. All the windows are in. I haven't done the glazing yet because I'm still going to be um, putting a 
matte finish over the whole thing uh, to cut down on the sort of the shininess of the brick. And I'm liking how it uh, how it came together. I think that's going to be uh, a nice brewery. Um, obviously, there'll be some some black paper um, in there behind the windows uh, for the top two floors, and I think the bottom two floors are where I'm going to put um, like de detail, uh, sort of a uh, a brewery scene inside with tanks and and uh, you know, put some lights in there. But uh, I'll probably make it the bottom two floors be sort of the brewing floor. Uh, you'll be able to see in the windows as well as the the open doors. So I'm liking how that's uh, turning out. Need to decide if I want to put this whole building over against that one or leave a little space there and maybe do a little alleyway. That might be kind of cool. Because um, this on the other side of it is, is just totally dead space. So thinking through that, and uh, that's where we are. Um, I think I'll go ahead and wrap this one up here. Um, next week, I will move on to the glazing, I'll start doing some of that detail work and uh, weathering. Um, and then I also need to do the roof, um, finish off the water tower structure here, as well as the head house or elevator, top of the elevator, whatever that is. Um, so definitely more to do, but uh, starting to really come together. And uh, as I back up, I really like how that's kind of completing the, the industrial scene here. So happy with that. Um, so I'll, I'll wrap up here. Um, thanks to everybody who's, uh, who's been watching. Um, if you're new here and, and like what you see, I've got a lot of other videos you can check out. Um, and definitely uh, hit that subscribe button. That helps me out uh, trying to build the channel a little bit. But uh, anyway, hope everyone is well and safe. Thanks.